Hello guys, your new spells here. I hope all of you are doing great. Today we have lots of news for you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Coming at first, controversial YouTuber Gideon gets banned from NBA events. YouTube streamer and creator Gideon, must known for his prank style videos, is reportedly banned from the NBA due to an incident during a WBNA game between the Miniesto Lynx and the Dallas Wings. He filmed himself attempting to sleep on the front row and later making an unauthorized attempt to throw the match used basketball at the hoops. Gideon's actions were seen as disturbing the game leading to his prompt removal from the arena by security. The entire incident was filmed and uploaded to his YouTube channel. Here is the video. <laughs> And this is what some fans responded to this act. So if you are a Gideon fan, please let us know if they should remove the ban. Next news, Brazilian influencer Lua de Pedriaro dances in joy after meeting idol Cristiano Ronaldo. He met Cristiano Ronaldo at an event. After spotting him, Pedriaro went up to him to greet him, which Ronaldo reciprocated. They both then clicked photos and recorded a video, which Pedriaro posted on his social media. Sim, receba! Graças a Deus, pai! Cristiano Ronaldo, o melhor do mundo! Graças a Deus, pai! Valeu, pai! Meu Deus do céu! Tá feliz agora? O cara mais feliz do mundo é eu agora! Both of them chatted for a while and the influencer told the player about his respect for him. He was struggling to contain his excitement and was leaping around. The influencer then posted the video of him meeting the legend with a long caption, I fulfilled my dream that was to meet Cristiano Ronaldo where I thought it would be impossible. So if you also want to meet Ronaldo, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Coming up next, Adam Rose asks for a sparring session with Andrew Tate and Jake Paul, which doesn't make any sense. But Jake Paul and Andrew Tate also collaborated before facing off each other for a boxing match, which was then cancelled. And Andrew Tate went to jail in November, so there was no match announcements. But recently, Jake Paul, Adrian Ross, and Andrew Tate were having a stream on which they thought of a sparring match, three of them together. It's like giving the people what they want for, oh. for nothing. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's true. Hey guys, I, I would love to. Uh, you know, I'll spar too for you with, with you guys. Fuck, I'll, I'll, Jake. Let's just go to Romania. We'll, we'll go 50 50 on the jet. Go to Romania, Jake, and I'll, I'll spar. We could do a threesome spar. I'm with it. <laughs> Why do you make everything sound weird? Andrew Tate suggested this sparring match and said we will decide later if we should release it. But Jake Paul said we can't give people something like this for free. Adin also asked Jake Paul to go to Romania and spar with him. Next news is Ryan Garcia confirms he got $30 million for Gervonta Davis fight. Recently, Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis had a boxing match when Ryan Garcia got knocked out. Ryan said the event pulled in $100 million. Ryan's net worth before his fight with Tank Davis was reported $20 million, but now it's increased to $50 million. He recently said that he's moving to Dallas, Texas, which is a beautiful and surprisingly affordable housing. Some boxing fans on social media feel that Ryan Garcia didn't deserve the fight with Tank Davis because his resume was suspect, filled with weak opposition from top to bottom. I want. Did, do you think I wanted him to fight Tank Davis with a rehydration clause? Hell no. I'm looking out for him, but he has people that are whispering in his ear, oh, Oscar's bad, oh, go with this other promoter who will take care of you more, you'll make more money. Well, guess what? Ryan just made 30 million plus dollar, uh, million dollars. You know, I'm not doing anything wrong here. I'm trying to create a legend. What better person? Coming up next, Khalil Silva explains why he chose boxing over MMA. Khalil Silva is the son of the legend Anderson Silva and he told MMA Junkie and other reporters on the red carpet before his father's induction ceremony, right now I am 2-0 in professional boxing. I'm really, really extremely focused on that. I have great coaches. I have great plans ahead for now. It's just boxing. I'm extremely focused on it. It's a very endearing and hard sport. I'm dedicating 100% of my time towards that.
He also said 100% the pressure is always there, the nervousness. Lastly, Tommy Fury receives death threat from Conor McGregor's teammate. Tommy Fury had a match like Jake Paul and defeated him, upon which Jake Paul decided for a comeback, but then he decided to fight Nate Diaz. Then Tommy decided to fight KSI, but it got cancelled. Now Tommy Fury is looking for the next opponent. Instead, KSI and Fury have stated that the fight might not happen. With the fight pending, Conor McGregor's partner, Kiefer Crossby, has decided to call out Tommy Fury. He is currently a member of the Peloter MMA roster with a record of 10-3. I saw it from the start. I just saw a range. I saw a range. I saw technical, clean mechanics. And I saw something else. Gut and heart. And I don't, you know what I mean? It's something I can't even explain. And... Uh, I'm very happy for him. He's after coming in and doing it. That, that's a look. That's how you. He said in a boxing match, I'm sure they'll do better, but in a real fight, I would kill them. I'm a real fighter. I do MMA. If any of these so called boxers want to come to my sport, come to me, baby. I wouldn't mind Tommy Fury. I've heard him say that MMA fighters can't box. Come in here with me and you'll be blown away. So let us know your thoughts in the comments about this fight. So, guys, this is it for the day. Make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any news. Have a great day. Bye.